back to Smaravas Country Bakery, and thank you for joining us. Good morning, Amy. Good morning, everybody. Uh, a lot of things that make us feel good are comfort foods, and today we're going to show you how we make one of our favorite comfort foods, especially now that the seasons have turned. We're going to be making pumpkin nut bread. Now, pumpkin nut bread is as easy to make as uh, a Rice Krispie bar. It just has a few more details and a few more ingredients. Don't like the nuts? We can leave those out, too. But uh, it's really something that's fun to make, easy to make, and uh, really makes the house smell nice. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with three cups of solid packed pumpkin. Now this is kind of a larger recipe. Um, it'll make three, uh, three pans, three uh, loaves of nut bread. And uh, you can cut it back to, you know, one and a half the size or, or what also this uh, recipe does. Um, you can use it for uh, pumpkin bars if you want. Uh, it also works for pumpkin muffins. So if you want to make some uh, pumpkin bread and pumpkin bars, that, uh, that works also. To this, we're going to add uh, a cup and a half of vegetable oil. And then we're going to add four cups of sugar. Okay. Now at this point is where I'm going to turn the mixer on with my paddle. Kind of get this mixing around a little bit. To that we're going to add six eggs. There we go. Six eggs mixed in there. We're going to get that mixing up a little more. Now in this recipe we use uh, cinnamon, nutmeg, and cloves. Now we're going to be using a teaspoon and a half of each one of those, which turns out to be a four and a half teaspoons. If you want, you can skip all that and go straight, straight to uh, the pumpkin pie spice, which is a blend of all of those, and that works perfectly. We're going to move this off a little bit here, and we're going to show you. We've got our flour, we've got our baking powder and our baking soda. So we're going to combine those in together, get that out of the way. And like I said, here we have our, our salt was in there as well. We have our ground cinnamon, we have our ground uh, nutmeg, and our ground cloves. So I'm going to do is I'm going to mix these in now, throw the spices in now. And as I said before, you can uh, just use all uh, pumpkin pie spice if you want. That works. Get those spices mixed in there. I'm just going to turn this down just a little bit. Try not to make a mess here. Start working in our flour, baking powder, baking soda and salt. All right. So we got the flour in there. We're going to stop this once. I'm a big proponent of making sure you got everything working together and get that scraped up off the bottom. Get your liquids together. Last thing you want is lumps or anything or something separating in the pan. So there we go. You could use your own pumpkin too if you're adventurous enough to bake and cook your own pumpkin. All right, let's get this going. Blend it together well. Now I didn't chop the walnuts, I'm just putting them in, I'm just putting them in whole like that. Uh, if you want to chop them up, it goes a little further. I'm just going to let the mixer toss them in. Break them up. Like I said, this is a cup and a half of walnuts. You can even use pumpkin seeds if you want. All right. There we go. And drop this down. Like I said, we're going to get three nut breads out of this. You 
could also get your pumpkin bar. Get the kids around, let them lick the spatula and clean the beater up. set that aside. Once again, I'm going to just kind of fold it over from the bottom, make sure that we don't have anything that didn't get mixed in. And then from here, it's eyeballing. Take a, you know, use your best judgment. Um, for us, I would put it on the scale to make sure it's an even amount. And uh, the pans you have at home are probably going to be a little larger than what I have here. So I've got a little more batter than what I normally would have and get a good even amount. Now for this, you could probably get this recipe. Uh, a 9 by 5 pan, you're going to get three loaves. You're going to use something smaller. You see, I've got some batter left in here. Now, I could take this, put it in a uh, 8 by 8 pan or a 13 by 9 and make a nice pumpkin bar. So I've got this all in. We've got our oven preheated to 350 degrees. They are going to go in there for 45 minutes to an hour. Insert your toothpick or knife if it comes out clean or pressed firmly in the center. They'll bounce back. That's when you know they're done. Um, very moist, delicious, excellent. Uh, as you saw, easy to mix. You can whip together uh, for breakfast or to go on your meal, your table. And then when it's all done, this is what you're going to have. Ice it up with a cream cheese icing, simple butter, cream cheese, powdered sugar, a little bit of vanilla. Slice it up for your banquet, for your dinner, for your breakfast. That is our pumpkin nut bread. And that is comfort food from Smaravas Country Bakery.